Good morning guys, I'm in Toronto. We flew in late last night. Um, today is the first day of Buffer Festival. I'm super excited. Um, I'm getting to show the first 20 minutes of the Beyond Borders documentary. Um, yeah, I think we're screening that tonight. Before then, we are going out for a birthday lunch for Raya. Her birthday is actually today. We did celebrate a little bit yesterday, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's so nice to be with friends here. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a really good day. Okay, we've sat down for lunch. Um, Sorel and Leon are here, and Mike, and we've just got some, this is an incredible place, but there's a wasp, you know. <laughs> this is an incredible place. Look at this food, this is amazing. I'll sleep in the middle there. Thank you. Happy birthday, Raya. Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Raya. <gasps> no! Got him. Okay. Ooh, I've just had to run back from lunch because I have like a TV show, uh, oh, interview. But I'm going live in seven minutes, so I kind of cut it quite fine. Look at this scenic elevator, this is amazing. Whoa. So wait, what new show is this? CBC. CBC. That's like a big deal, right? I've heard it's a big deal. Els is here. We're about to jump on. Um, just made it in time. I think it was cutting in pretty fine. Okay. You came late for drama, right? Yeah. I did. I did. Sorry for causing everyone to stress out a little bit. Okay. Let's do it. Shall I sit over there? All right, we are live. Hello, everybody. I'm Hi. Eli Glasner. This is El Mills and Louis Cole, and we are going to talk about the reality of being uh, a YouTuber. Louis, we have a serious question here from Yasmin. What would you do if you had one day to live? Now, you you lived a pretty full you, life in your yeah. adventures, so I don't know. I, I feel I, like that's kind of my philosophy every day. I know, I know. Like, like, okay. Live every day as if it's your last You day. You released a, a very honest video where you talked about this kind of like moment where you were, it's like a breakdown, basically. Mm -hmm. I wondered what led to that video. Like, what was that moment where you said, I need to talk about this. I can't keep up anymore. Yeah, well, I uh, unfortunately had like a very public breakdown back in April mm. um, because it just got all kind of build up, built up and um, it just kind of broke. Yeah. And so I made the video, you know, trying to explain myself because I had to cancel tour shows. I had to um, say no to a couple events. And so what do you think was the breaking point? What do you think forced you to realize, OK, I need a change? Um, I, I was very depressed and I, yeah. I was experiencing panic attacks twice a day. Yeah. Like, and it was got to the point where I couldn't take it anymore. And if I were to continue on, it would just yeah. be killing myself. Now, Louis, you've also kind of changed your lifestyle. I mean, you're known as someone who would like ride across Africa or fly around the world. And now you're vlogging about Ikea. So I get yes. a sense you're also, <laughs> but it's the thing, I mean, this is what like, YouTubers, you're known for your honesty, and it's the yeah. question of like, talk to me about trying to find that new balance and do this in a sustainable way for yourself. Yeah, so for me it's been, I mean, I'm, I'm considered a bit of like an OG on YouTube, yeah. even though that was like six years ago. It's right. funny, it's like such a short-term industry. It's like right. six years ago was like, in oh, internet yeah, back years, in the day. It's like, a century. <laughs> so yeah, so I, I, I started kind of super high-paced, vlogging every single day, and then it's just become, it's just, it's such an interesting platform and I think it evolves rapidly. So you've got tons more high quality creators on the platform mm. now. So you're, in a way there is this, you're competing with other people to get the attention of an, your audience. You've also built your your whole kind of income and business. In a, when I started, I didn't think about having a business, but yeah, it becomes like a business, yeah. right? So you've built all this and it's all reliant on the, the viewership you're getting, like whether people are watching your videos. So as soon as like, something shifts like the algorithm or there's a ton more competition out there suddenly you're you're trying to oh i need to make higher quality content i need to upload more often i need to do all these things so there's these pressures build on and where it started as a bit of a for me it was just a pure passion thing i love making videos i love sharing adventures i'm having and then there's at times i've had not quite like dramatic breakdowns but i remember feeling I remember sitting in Jamaica like three years ago and it was when it first hit me my views started dropping and i was like Okay, I wasn't depressed, but I was like down. I was like, I was like sitting there in paradise, literally with like, I would say one of the best jobs you could have in the world. Right. And some, for some reason I was down about it. I was like, 
Why am I eavesdropping? Oh, you like, can think up with your numbers. Yeah, because of that, of how that, like, I imagine that affecting everything. Like, oh, what if this is it now? Like, what if, like, I've lost my popularity? Mm -hmm. And then you have to start trying to remind yourself, like, oh, well, hang on, I do kind of have the best job in the world. So people watching might not understand what we're talking about because it's like, like, they'll be like, oh, stop complaining. It's not that I'm complaining. It's just the reality is, yes, it's an incredible opportunity. I'm so grateful to have this platform and ability to earn an income doing something I love. But then you've got this super high pressure of like, you're, you're basically having to become a business person and understand right. how to build a business and how to stay at the top and stay successful. And it's like stuff that I didn't buy into. That wasn't something mm -hmm. I wanted to do from the start. Like mm -hmm. I didn't want to run a business, but it kind of is. Right. So I think over the last year, I slowed down my uploads, maybe uploaded like three or four times a week rather than like seven days yeah. a week. And then also, yeah, recently just basing up in one location rather than being fully nomadic all the time. So the YouTube live stream went well. It's pretty cool. I'm heading now for another interview with The National, which is a bit another big deal in Canada, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's a day of interviews. Check out this setup. I'm just looking at this A7S II. There's this really cool like mic interface and it's feeding in through the hot shoe. So I feel like I should look into something like that. That's cool. Yeah. Right. Interview done, time to head to Raya's screening. Oh, wow. Yes. Hi, this is me tonight, I'm on the documentaries and mockumentaries. Yeah, I've moved down to the main area because I felt a little bit too distant up there. It's a cool spot to view, but um, Raya's on first and then when she's off and we're watching other people's videos, I want to be sitting with her. I'm so excited. This is Raya's video. Uh, okay, time to get up. I have so much to do today. First things first, let's see how much damage has been done. thoughts every single day and there's times when it's worse and there's times when it's not as bad but it still is like takes over my life and the thing that really got me and why I for me like the daughter bit is what got me I was watching a video on YouTube of like they asked these teenage girls how they felt about their body and there was this like 10 year old girl who was saying that she can't look in a mirror because it makes her feel like crap and she like will have a terrible day she was 10 years old and I just like broke down imagining my 10 year old daughter, future daughter, saying these things to herself, but I let myself do it all day, every day. So yeah, I hope that, I'm sure that all of us have these, whether it's about your body or not, all of us have these kinds of thoughts to like bring ourselves down and make ourselves feel like crap. So please, <laughs> let's all just stop doing that. Basically the thought of if I die tomorrow, am I happy with how I've lived up till now? So I think with, everything from where you live, what you do, what you think about, whatever it is, like, if you're not happy today, if you're living in LA, then get out of LA, because you don't, you're not promised a certain amount of time, so stop wasting time doing things that don't serve you. I feel like this is an intervention for us all to move out of LA. <laughs> <laughs> I moved there two weeks ago. I yeah, just moved to LA. I love it. <laughs> just moved there. I'm like, I love it. <laughs> but I was missing community. And that's what I was like, I just need to be surrounded by friends. And now I literally live with like six of the best humans ever. And I'm like, just loving it, so. Yeah. Okay guys, I met up with Josh. Sarah and John, how's everyone feeling about the uh, documentaries? Dude, I'm excited for your documentary. Yeah. We're all excited for this. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to show people, honestly. We are heading out. Oy, yeah. It's time for my film to go on. Please welcome the premiere of Beyond Borders, Chapter One by Louis Cole. I decided that I'm gonna find a way to do it. I'm gonna live on the road. I'm gonna take like two or three years and slowly fly around the world. 
And then I met Louis and he sort of changed everything. The plan was to head east around the world, heading across America, up into Canada, then to Greenland, Iceland, dropping into Europe. Oh, oh Louis! Louis. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I guess, daily vlogging for six years, and um, and I knew what for the world flight. I was like, obviously, I'm going to daily vlog it. Um, probably didn't realise at the time how hard. Has anyone seen any of the daily vlogs from the world flight? Um, but I knew before I even left, I was like, but this is also because it's a three-month trip. I was like, this is also going to make an epic documentary, and it's the first documentary I I've like been involved with making. So I was just like, yeah, it deserves like a one final like feature next film. So. Yeah, I decided to do that. Guys, the viewing is over. I think there's a good response. I think people enjoyed it. I'm on the red carpet now, and uh, this dude, Alex, is repping. Lived the adventure. He's got the notepads. And even more impressive, he's got a tattoo. Check this out. Yes, bro. That is awesome, man. This is a long time coming, but look who is here in Toronto. Yes. Peter McKinnon. We literally have been chatting for what, like a year maybe? I feel like it's been two years. And I can't believe we've only just meeting. This I know. is I feel like we're brothers. I feel like we've hung out yeah. for like weeks on end. I know, it's mad. So yeah. we're we're chatting now about some kind of adventure project or trip. Yeah. Leave and like leave a comment of what you think we should do together. It could be anything. It could be mad. Leave a below. But yeah, I feel like we've had like a two year relationship relationship in Instagram DMs. We have, we have. Just trying to meet up with each other at different points in the world. So we finally met up here. And you weren't here last year? No, I was, I was on the okay. trip last year. Right. Yeah. You guys, oh, have they seen it yet? No, they haven't. They're they not going to see it. They've seen a trailer. I teased a little trailer. You just wait. You wait. <laughs> Well, we had a very fun night. That was great. It's a great day. I, I'm so happy I got to screen my thing and Raya's thing. Yeah. How was your birthday today? Yeah, so good. And Sio showed up. He just. Oh yeah. 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 I had to come. Birthday. You guys are so close. And where's your wife right now? She is nine months pregnant, about to pop any second. Yeah. It, it looks right now. The belly's so big. It looks like a movie prop. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen the photos. Like, oh, hopefully we're gonna go and see her Sunday, unless they have the baby on Sunday. Then but. we might go see the baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, we're gonna head back to the hotel now, and uh, yeah, ready for day two of Buffer tomorrow. See you in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.